All right, so I got to give you guys my uh, shameful update right here. I just really had a stupid bozo move this morning. Wasn't thinking. I don't know why, but uh, I went ahead and, and I've been filming this actually. Uh, drill in tapping holes right here for the reader to mount right there. Actually using using these holes right here. It would be mounted like that, this turned up. But anyway, after I drilled and tapped the holes, it then it all finally made sense to me. I'm like, wait a second, the reader can't go here on the table. Actually I had it every I had everything worked out to where this was going to be sitting in there nice, but so this doesn't go here because this will <laughs> the reader and the scale can't be moving together it's got it one's got to be fixed so all you guys already have installed a digital readout i know you're over there laughing and pointing your fingers and everything but okay so this needs to go here on this casting that needs to be bolted here so that it is stationary and the scale will be mounted to the table so that the scale moves through the reader. All right, so I'm having to redo what, I'm, what I've already started. So I'm using this bracket. I done got some bolts in there right now. I had even drilled those holes out a little bit to use a different bolt. So I, it'll still work. It'll give me a little bit of room for adjustment. So we'll use these two holes right here and use the supplied six millimeter bolts to mount that right in this location. So I need to go find me a transfer punch, find the center of this, and I'll get one drilled and tapped. And then once I do, then I'll level this up really nice and then transfer the other hole and then and get it drilled and tapped. Using a five millimeter drill here. I'm going to use this nice set of Dormer 6mm taps that a viewer had given me some time back. Brand new set, really good quality stuff right here. All right, let's do it one more time. All right, I think that's going to be good enough for our drill and tap hole. All right, we got our two holes drilled and tapped. I've got it mounted to the bracket, snugged up here. So let's go ahead and get her mounted up. All right, we got them just snug. So now it's time to run an indicator down it. We're gonna have to do the top and the back here to make sure that it's nice and square with the table.
that center portion's machined a little lower, so we'll just use the outside ends. All right, that's just a touch high there. Let me see if I can, now I'll go get a, a punch and see if I can tap on that corner of that bracket and see if I can push it down just a bit. All right. Went a little too far, didn't we? Dang it. Let me snug up this one bolt a little bit so I'm not playing teeter-totter here. And leave it at that. Use power feed. Hey, look at that. I think we're, what was that, about a half thou? All right, let me go ahead and snug that side some. All right, let's check her again. We'll s zero. I call that zero. We're within tenths right there, guys. Remember that the, the manual says that it needs to be within two thousandths. All right, so now we need to go ahead and reset up and we'll check the back and make sure that we get this nice and square too. All right, man. I swear I didn't indicate that, it's just bolted in. So I need to find my wrench. Oh, I put it up somewhere. I snugged them because I felt like they were pretty square against the hole. There we go. All right. Okay, we're getting closer. Reader's mounted, now we need to work on the scales. Move the table all the way down closest to the cable side of the reader here. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer a punch to uh, drill and tap for these just like we did down here on this side one thing that I was going to point out <clears throat> that I had forgot to mention about this particular model of re, uh, the DP 500 my mill table is 42 inches and this scale is actually made for I believe the 49 inch length table but they didn't have this one available for the 42 inch but this one will still work but what it's doing is instead of these mounts being on the inside here you know closer to this area here where you can use that tap hole for coolant you're basically covering up that hole you know having to come out here further so you have to make that judgment call whether that model will work for you or not if you're using coolant this may be a bad choice for you but i'm not using those holes for for coolant or anything like that so this will work just fine so what i'm doing is i'm just trying to make everything look symmetrical and placing all of these kind of like right just to the outside of that tap hole and we're going to go with it right there i just want to kind of level it up a little bit right there all right and then we'll Drill and tap. Oh, 
All right, let's get this side drilled. Uh, tapped, I mean, not drilled. We already drilled it. So this one is the eight millimeter. Everything's loose, all right? So, there we go. All right, I'm gonna go down to the other end and I'm gonna repeat exactly what I just did here. Get it drilled and tapped, you know? And then uh, we'll get it all tightened up. <clears throat> I think on this, this particular scale, what we'll do with the guard, They can bolt in right here, like this. I think that'll work out perfect right there. That length of stud. So we'll uh, we'll use our transfer screws again, and we can mount this right on the back, and it'll cover up the scale like so. All right, I've got the other side tight. I'm just gonna run it on up. So everything is self-centered because it's still loose. Make sure I got the, <clears throat> the stud tight, which it is. Okay, all right, we're gonna tighten this one up. Tighten that one up. Okay. Scale and reader is now mounted. Now we'll go ahead and uh, we'll we'll go ahead and fit our guard on there and get that done. And man, I'm ready to move on and get the uh, the the monitor mounted up here. So our guard will fit on here really nice just like this I can actually just set it on here to kind of give you an example of what it'll look like all right it'll sit nice and square like that I measure it half inch from the end of the table and it'll make it nice and even all right I'd love to mount it just like that but I can't because it's actually sitting right on top of the reader head right here so it would rub I've got about a uh, it's five eighths to the top of the table so what I'm going to do is uh, use a quarter inch tool bit right here as a spacer I'm going to set it right there, and I'll use that. We'll, we'll set the guard in here on top of that, and I'll get her evened out on the ends, and transfer. use the transfer screws to punch it, and drill the holes, and we'll mount her up. They supply these button head screws that'll screw into the back of these studs, and that's what will mount your guard on the here so just like I did on the other ones I'm going to use these transfer screws screw them in there one on each end that'll work out perfect it's just about flush there we'll set this back up there and we'll give it a little tap and transfer our hole pattern
Right, we got our mark there. We got our mark right there. Man, you gotta love those transfer screws, man. They just, when you need them, they make your job so much easier. There it is, it's mounted. All right, okay. Now, time to move on to the mount, the, uh, the monitor. So I'm gonna start looking at it and figuring out where I'm going to mount it, and, and uh, I'll bring you right back, okay?